Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to dispatch an action event. Dispatch method is what you use to dispatch actions to the Redux store. Calling store.dispatch and passing the value returned from an action creator sends an action back to the store. Recall that action creators return an object with a type property that specifies the action that has occurred. Then the method dispatches an action object to the Redux store. Based on the previous challenges example, the following lines are equivalent and both dispatch the action of type login. So here we have store.dispatch and action creator and then store.dispatch type action uh, login. So this is the exact same thing because action creator simply returned whatever the dispatch already was. So the Redux store in the code editor has an initialized state that's an object containing a login property currently set to false. The Redux store has an initial has code editor has an initialized state so uh, that's an object containing a login property currently set to false so a, an object containing a login property and an initialized state which is set to that okay so and then this is and then the store is equal to the redux store with the initialized state set to false and it returns the state there's also an action creator called login action, which is this one, which returns an, uh, an action of type login. So this returns an action of, with the type of login. Dispatch the login action to the Redux store by calling dispatch method and passing and pass it the action created by login action. Okay, so what we, we can go store dot dispatch and pass it an action created by login action. Login action, right? Login action. Cool. I think that's going to pass it. Okay, so what, again, what we're doing is, I wonder what happens if we console.log just to see if we can see this stuff. Okay, so yeah, store becomes, is set to a redux.current store. The, what, that looks like this. And they've actually simplified it in here, which is great. So our store has th these different actions. Store.dispatch means is a function where we do A. Store.subscribe is a function C. Store.getState is a function of O. So if we were to go store.getState and we ran it, it would be login is set to false because right now the login is set to false. But if we do store.getState down here, Oh, it's still set to false. We're, so we're just dispatching the option. So uh, yeah, let's go back to here. And we're looking at the store object. So the store has all these in here. So what we're doing is store.dispatch, which actually is, oh yeah, dispatch is the first one. And what we're passing in is the login action. And the login action simply returns a object with the type of login. And so what we're doing is store.dispatch. So we're doing whatever the function dispatch is to, and we're passing it in an object of simply of simply one type key value pair of uh, login. And so yeah, that's the way you do this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.